Bienvenidos! Today we're going to talk about relative pronouns in Spanish. Relative pronouns are pronouns that stand for nouns that are being used in the sentence. A pronoun stands for a noun, and a relative pronoun stands for a noun that's currently used in the sentence. So relative pronouns in Spanish uh, are quien and quienes, and these two stand for people. Quien stands for one person, and quienes stands for more than one person. Both of these stand for a specific person or a specific people in the sentence, and they're translated as who. Que is also a relative pronoun in Spanish, and it usually can be translated as that. It stands for something specific in the sentence, and it can be any noun, singular or plural, and it can be people. It can be refer referring to people. Lo que is a relative pronoun that stands for a general idea, not a specific noun. And it usually doesn't refer to people. And it translates as that which. So if you could translate it as that which, then probably you would use locate in that sentence. Here's some examples. Mi abuela, my grandmother, quien vive en las afueras, who lives in the outskirts, viene hoy, is coming today. So in this sentence, we have our relative pronoun, quien, and it's referring or standing for the noun abuela. Okay, so abuela is still in the sentence. It doesn't actually take the place of the noun, but it's as if that noun was being used a second time in the sentence, and we use the relative pronoun instead. So we have quien, and it's standing for abuela. And we could translate this in English to who? My grandmother, who lives in the outskirts. Okay? Notice that none of these carry accent marks. When we use these in interrogative sentences, they do have accent marks. Quien, quienes, and que have accent marks when they're used as a question word. But these are not being used as question words here. They're being used as pronouns. And when they're used as relative pronouns, no accent mark. Here's another example. Ellas son las vecinas quienes nos ayudaron. They are the neighbors who helped us. So let's look. Where's our relative pronoun? Quienes. And the noun that it is standing for in the sentence would be vecinas. Okay. Another example. Estas son las cortinas que me gustan. These are the curtains that I like. We have the relative pronoun que, and it's standing for the noun cortinas. Now, just remember, que can stand for people or things. So in this sentence, we could put just about anything here. We could have um, these are the um, these are the students. These are the books. These are you could even have a singular. This is the book that I like. You can substitute just about anything in here and leave the pronoun que. But with quien and quienes, they can only stand for people. And these are very specific nouns. Now with lo que. We're talking about a general idea, and it translates as that which. Lo que queremos, that which we want, lo que queremos, es una casa grande, is a big house. So even though casa grande is, sounds like a specific noun, we're talking about an idea. That which we want. What is it that we want? It's a general idea. Lo que queremos es una casa grande, that which we want is a big house.